Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Eric. How are you? Doing good, thank you. Great. Sarai, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Fine, thank you. Okay, Alex. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Okay, let's wait one minute for for our, cla our classmates. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and start. All right, so, um, como van con la plataforma? First of all, did you finish uh, the test? Yeah, did you did finish you? section one? I already finished all the tests. Okay, you finished the test, very good. Okay, uh, Alex, por donde va? It's done. Where are you? Huh? It's done, dijiste? No sé si te escuché bien. Ah, it's done. Okay, very good, Alex. Uh, Sarai? Stephanie? Carlos? Oh, Eric? Me too, teacher. I finished. Great. Good job. Okay. I have finished too. Very good. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. I have two two things. Eh, prácticamente casi terminamos todo en la sección cinco. Eh, yesterday we talked about expectations. So I'm going to do a little review about expectations. And then um, we're going to go to I have two things that we're going to do. Después de la expectations, just a little review. Eh, si quieren ver ese, esa explicación de las expectations, tienen que ver el video de ayer. Uh, I'm just going to do a review for that section. And then we're going to do, eh, vamos, a, a jugar un, vamos a jugar unos juegos que tengo preparados para ustedes. Ustedes van a jugar ahí desde, desde su teléfono. Um, and then we're going to do a pronunciation activity. Okay, so let's go to the, the section that we were doing. Uh, let me see, let me go back. Okay, so section number five, yesterday we did uh, 5.7, expectations, okay. So we used, uh, basically was a lesson in using a vocabulary and using a structure where we can talk about, uh, aquí está, solo voy a darle play para ver la foto del, del video. Okay, like, yeah. Okay, aquí está la estructura. So we say uh, we can use two different ways. You can say when or if you want to, okay? So you can use these different ways to talk about um, expectations or maybe when you want to give recommendations or suggestions uh, about visiting another country. We talked about El Salvador, right? This is, this is our country. And let's say, for example, we have another person that comes from Japan, and he's going to come visit El Salvador, right? Eh, dos culturas totalmente diferentes, right? Eh, 
So he maybe he, he wants to learn more about our culture. So we're going to give him tips, okay? So when you you can say when you visit someone, bueno, aquí vamos a cambiarle, podemos cambiar and we say when you visit El Salvador, it's the custom. So you can say it's the custom too, and then give your compliment. Eh, es costumbre. Or Maybe you so you you can use you're supposed to. ¿Qué quiere decir you're supposed to? It's like um, expectativa. Eh, debería de. Okay. Or maybe you want to say you're expected to. Se le espera a usted o se le. Eh, how do you say expected? What's the translation for expected? ¿Cómo traducieran ustedes expected in Spanish? Se espera, quizás. Ajá. Ok, very good. Se espera. Ok. Es apropiado. Ok. Very good. So you can use expected. Or you can use supposed to. Eh, ya lo usamos, solo que aquí lo usamos en negativo y aquí en positivo. And acceptable. Acceptable when you're talking about social norms social rules behavior all right very good so uh voy a voy a ir al al grupo de whatsapp porque ayer compartieron algunas con nosotros los grupos so let me go there vamos a ver lo tengo que buscar en, en, en los mensajes de ayer eh, Alguien estaba aquí el, el, ayer y se recuerda algunas que hicieron. Do you remember? Ah, aquí hay una. So let me see, Stephanie, you wrote these. Let me show the class these. So Stephanie says here, for example, when people are talking, you aren't supposed to pass between them or interrupt them. Okay. That can be a rule here for us. Uh, number two, when you visit someone's home, you're supposed to bring some dessert or sweet bread to drink coffee. Very good. When you go eat pupusas, you're supposed to eat with your hands. And number four, if you go to the stadium, you're supposed to eat chuco meat. <laughs> okay. Excellent. ¿Quién estaba aquí ayer? ¿Quién se recuerda? ¿Algunas yes. que hicieron? Alex, remember? ¿Tú hiciste varias? Yeah. Remember? Uh, when you visit El Salvador, it's a custom to buy Campero chicken. Okay. Ah, yeah. When you visit El Salvador, it's a custom to buy uh, como, how do you translate pollo campero in English? Campero chicken, maybe? <laughs> no, campero, no. <laughs> campero is country. Es como el campo. It's translated. <laughs> campo, country. Right? <laughs> like country chicken. That's the correct translation. <laughs> okay. Very good, Alex. Eh, what else? Eh, Eric, do you remember? No sé si tú estabas aquí. Do you remember yesterday? Yeah. For example, when you when you go to El Salvador, you're supposed to pay and buy things with dollars, American yes. dollars. Yes, very good. Okay. Eh, Ernesto, were you here yesterday? ¿Estabas aquí ayer? Ernest? Yes? ¿No está ahí? Eh, Stephanie, do you remember another one? Um, I think... Um, uh, uh, 
I remember someone said that when you go to Oloquilta, uh, you're expected to eat pupusas. Yes, very good. Uh -huh. uh, if when you visit El Salvador and you go to Oloquilta, you're expected to eat pupusas. Very okay. good, excellent. Okay, very good. So I have some uh, uh, an activity that we're going to do. Let me show you the activity. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Van a jugar un game. You guys are going to play a game. Present perfect is the topic. You guys remember el present perfect? No, hagamos el past perfect primero. So the past perfect, okay? You guys remember we have to use had and we have to use the past participle, okay? So, eh, quiero que vayan a esta página. ¿La pueden ver? ¿Pueden ver mi pantalla? Okay. Te voy a poner aquí el link eh, en, uh, en WhatsApp. Le puse el link. Okay. Quiero que vayan ahí. Can you go there, please? Alex, Eric. Yes, I'm in. Okay, now it's going to ask you for a game code. Do you see the game code? Stephanie, ¿ya estás ahí? 296592. Mm -hmm. Sarai, ¿está ahí? Yes. Okay, so ya estás en joinmyquiz.com. Are you there? Mm, it says, únete a un juego. Join game, ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And it's going to ask you for a code. Ernesto? Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, Ernest, ¿ya estás ahí? Eh, okay. No, teacher, fíjese que estoy del celular y no lo puedo no ver. Claro, eh, esto lo puedes hacer del celular, del teléfono. Yeah. Ah, ok. Bueno, voy a tratar. Claro, todos lo están haciendo el teléfono. Sí. Ok. Entonces, vaya, sigue el link que está en WhatsApp. Follow the link. And then it's going to ask you to join a game. And then it's going to ask you for the code. Aquí está el código. Si pueden ver mi pantalla. También lo voy a poner ahí en WhatsApp. Okay, ¿quién tenemos? Let me see. We have uh, Amner, Eric, Stephanie, Rosie, uh, Sarai. Very good. No sé quién más falta, Ernesto, eh, Carlos. Ok, los que se acaban de incorporar, quiero que vayan a joinmyquiz.com. Les puse el link ahí. Y van a van a ingresar a ese, a ese sitio, le va a pedir este código. Ok, very good. Carlos, you're there. George. Wilbert. Let me see. How many people we have in the meeting right now? Let me see. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, we have 12 people and then we have eight. Faltan cuatro. Rosibel? Ah, I'm coming. Ah? Yes, I am Rosy. Okay, ya, ya va a ingresar al sitio. La estamos esperando. George? I'm coming. I am. Ya entré, teacher. Okay. Eh, vaya donde dice join game. Ya estoy. Ok. Como Rosy me puede buscar ahí. Rosy, ah, ya la veo. Ok. Very good. Who else? Who else? Wilbert. Wilbert, George. Andrea ya está. Ok. Carlos, very good. Ernesto, ya estás. 
Okay, very good. So what are we going to do? We're going to play uh, the past perfect. Eh, es un quiz. Y ustedes van a competir con uno el otro. Es como una carrera. Ok. Tienen que competir. Les da puntos. Ok. All right. You ready? Listos. One, two, three. Okay, choose the correct answer. Complete the sentence, past perfect. Very good, Carlos fue el primero en contestar, very good. Stephanie, Ernesto. Okay, very good. Let me see. ¿Quién va ganando? Eric. Very good. Let's see. Amner, Carlos. Wilbert Gladys no ha contestado ninguna. Wilbert no ha contestado. Saraí. Okay, very good. Sigue ganando Eric, Amner, Carlos, Gladys, are you there? Okay, very good. Almost finished, five minutes.
Two minutes, two minutes, almost finished, two minutes. Congratulations, Eric, finished. One minute. Okay, finish, finish. Okay, pueden regresar a, a la reunión de the Zoom, let me show you the results. The first person, the first place is Eric. Congratulations, Eric, first place. Then we have Carlos and George. Congratulations, good job. Okay, let's check out the scores. Aquí están, si ustedes pueden ver la pantalla de, de Zoom. Van a, van a ver mi pantalla les, eh, y los resultados. Do you see? Eric, 100%. Very good. Excellent job. Carlos, 100%. Tenemos bastantes 100. Look, Carlos, Eric, Carlos, George, Amner, Stephanie, 100. Rosy también, 100, 95%. Very good. AJ, A, A, H. No sé quién es esa persona. Eh, Congratulations, Ernesto, very good. Andrea, Gladys, what happened, Gladys? Okay, very good. So, alguna que falló aquí, Andrea, she blanked the pink apron and placed it on the table drawer when the door opened and Joe entered. Tendría que ver cuáles las opciones que había. So remember, this section is Past perfect. Eh, tenemos que usar. Eh, oh, here's the questions. For example, uh, blank a lot about her before I heard that she was safe. Had worry. I had. I had worried. Very good. Por qué no encaja has? Because this is simple present for he, she, or it, had en caja, pero worry is present. So no, have no en caja, had, and then the past participle worried, okay? Had thought, past participle, very good. Okay, otra, number three. He told us he blank a big tiger. He had seen, remember? ¿Cuáles son los tres verbos de, de ese? No se los quiero decir, pero si alguien se los puede. ¿Cuáles son los tres tiempos? Sí, so, seen. Can you repeat? Sorry. Sí, so, seen. Sí, saw and seen very good excellent uh let's see they drank tea after they blank dinner they had finished no this is simple present the verb had finished correct answer very good she blank the pink apron and placed it on the table drawer when the door opened and Joe entered. She had folded, lo dobló, right? But in the past, perfect. The teacher wanted to know why he blanked a cell phone to school, why he had brought, he had brought. ¿Cuáles son los tres tiempos? Bring, bring, brought, brought and brought. brought. 
<laughs> los dos son, ajá, los dos son brought. Uh -huh. Bring, brought, and brought. Very good. After he blanked at the hospital for two years, he decided to give up the job. Worked. Okay. Estos verbos regulares simplemente eh, no hay un past participle, sino que usamos el simple past. When I arrived at the party, John blank home. ¿Cuáles son los tres tiempos de este verbo? Go, went, and gone. Yes, very important. Very important that you guys uh, know. Eh, este cuadro se los puse de los, de los verbos irregulares. Se lo puse, está en WhatsApp. All right, you ready for the next game? Yes. Let's go to the next game, okay? Uh, let me see. Voy a hacer, lo voy a hacer más, más, un poquito más difícil, okay? So I'm going to use a quiz. Uh, I'm going to use past, perfect, and simple past. Advanced, this is advanced. Past perfect or simple past, okay? So we're gonna play this quiz. All right. Este va a estar más difícil. Okay. Tienen que, una vez más, ir a la página de joinmyquiz.com and aquí está el nuevo código for that game. Okay, very good. George, listo. So, vamos a esperar ahorita que, que ingresen el resto. So, este es el nuevo código. Okay, very good. George, Sarai, Stephanie, Rosie. Hi, Bird. No sé quién es Hi, Bird. ¿Qué <laughs> tema vamos a ver ahorita? O sea, ¿con cuál vamos a jugar? Eh, vamos a jugar el, el siguiente. Este tiene que ver con eh, past perfect y simple past. Okay. Es como una mezcla. So this is, this is going to be more difficult. Okay. I saw present perfect, simple past. Ajá. Sí, ¿se acuerdan que vi, hicimos una actividad así eh, de, en la plataforma? Usando simple past and, and, and uh, usando past perfect and simple past. Para hablar que un evento pasó antes que el otro. So we're going to practice that. Uh, it's very difficult. Sometimes, uh, no crean, yo también me, I get confused sometimes. But this is a, a this is an advanced exercise. I know you can do it. Uh, tenemos 10 personas. ¿Cuántos estamos en la reunión ahorita? 12. ¿Quién falta? Falta una más, porque conmigo somos dos. One more person. Where is the... Hey, perdón, Gladys, ahí está el código. 762 881. 762 881. You got it? Ahí está. Yeah, Gladys, yeah. there you in. Okay, you guys are ready? One, two, yes. three.
Ok, very good. ¿Quién va ganando? Stephanie. Amner no ha respondido. Come on. Five minutes. Five minutes. Eric, Ernesto, Amner. Okay, come on, almost finished. Okay, le voy a dar seven minutes. Okay, very good, Carlos, Andrea, num uh, Carlos number one, Andrea is in second place, Rosy, third place, very good, George, Eric, very good, three minutes. <laughs> Okay, one minute, one minute, very good. Congratulations, Carlos finished. Estoy en clase, sí. Estoy en clase. Okay, finish.
Okay, Ernesto, I think you had problems, right? Okay, no problem, don't worry. Okay, very good. Who finished first? Carlos. And then Eric. Rosy. Sarai, very good. Hi, Bird. No sé quién es ese. Andrea, Stephanie, George. Very good. So let's see some of the, the ones that we miss. Let's look at the questions really quickly and then we're going to go to another activity for pronunciation. Uh, aquí están las preguntas. Okay, number one, it says, he blank to the gym this morning. He went, right? He went to the gym this morning. Very good. Number two, a Miley Cyrus blank in the city yet. Maybe she'll give a concert next year. She hasn't sung. Hasn't sung. Very good. Let me see. Me the multiple choice. Ah, aquí está. This is the multiple choice. I've blanked a cartoon network in my life. I never watched. ED, never watched. Earlier today, I blank my clothes. I washed my clothes. Sandra blank arrived. Uh, Sandra arrived. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> tricky, that was a tricky question. They blank building the new mall yet. They, if you look at the picture, they haven't finished have it finished. We blank at the B Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas last time we went. We stayed. I blank to the beach three times a year. I have been to the beach three times this year. Now, quiero que noten algo. Normalmente en inglés usamos expresiones de tiempo. Three times, two times, last year. I am hungry. I blank breakfast at seven this morning. I eat, no, eight. Como el número ocho, eight. All right, very good. Questions? All right, very good. So, gracias por hacer la, las pruebas. Eran quizzes. Okay, all right, very good. So the next thing I want to do with you now, I want to do a pronunciation activity. So quiero que vean mi pantalla. Go to Zoom. Vayan a la aplicación Zoom. Okay. All right, very good. So I have two questions, okay? Two very simple questions. I want to do a, an activity on pronunciation. So question number one, how many vowels in English? Passive. How many? Uh, Ernesto, how many vowels in English? Um, uh, five. How many vowels? Cuántos vocales? In English? Five. Five, the same. <laughs> the same in Spanish, right? But how many vowels sounds in English? Ten. Ah? Ten. Twenty. Twenty. No. How many vowel sounds in English? Quien tiene una idea? So we have five vowels. But how many vowel sounds in English? Hmm? Ten sounds. How many? Maybe ten. Ten sounds. Ten sounds. Uh, why do you say ten, Amner? You are correct. You are correct. Pero por qué decís? Yes. Because I I saw the the picture that <laughs> you saw the picture. Okay, <laughs> very good. So yes, the correct answer is that we have ten vowel sounds in English. We have five. I have five vowels. Okay, 
but we have a, a se dividen in long and short. Long and short. Okay, so what am I talking about? For example, la vocal A in English, A. Now you have two sounds. You have A like grapes or A like apple. Apple. Do you see the sound? Grapes, A, 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 apple. Do you see? So ahí van dos. Feet, E, E, feet. A, A, elephant. So ahí van dos más, cuatro. Kite, I, igloo, E, E, igloo. So ahí, dos más. Boat, O, O, octopus. Oh, octopus, glue, ooh, and oh, like umbrella. Okay, very good. Can you say it? To pronounce. Let's say, let me pick some, uh, let's pick some volunteers. Carlos, can you pronounce the letter A, long and short vowel, A? Grapes, A, and apple, A. Very good, okay. Letter E, Andrea. Fit E and elephant mm -hmm. e. e. Like elephant, right? Uh, next, I. Uh, let's see. Alex, I. Alex, the pronunciation yeah. for I. It, a kite. Uh -huh. uh, kit, igloo. Okay, casi no se escucha. Está bien. Como si está lejos. Okay, the correct pronunciation. Kite, I. And e, e, like igloo. So, like, for example, sit. Okay, next, uh, Gladys, O. Can you give me the pronunciation for O? Boat. Correct. And then the other, the short pronunciation for O? Octopus. Octopus. Ah, ah, octopus. Bo, o, oat. Do you see the sound, the difference? Yeah. Very good. Okay, glue. And then up, uh, up, uh, umbrella. Okay, so let me show you a video. I want you to see a video. Okay. Uh, this is just a little small explanation. It's only two minutes, but I want you to see the way that she explains them. And uh, she's an American, so it's, it sounds very good. Now, each one of these vowels, A, E, I, O, U, have a long pronunciation and a short pronunciation. So the A, the short pronunciation is A. Ah. The short pronunciation for E is E, for I is I, for O is A, and for U is A. Okay, so let's go over those with word examples. So short vowel A, like in hat. Short vowel E, 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 like in head. I, like in hit. Ah, like in hot, and a, uh, like in hut. Today. Okay, let's go over the long vowels real quick. So remember A, E, I, O, U, and here are the long pronunciations that are that go with those vowels. A, like in hate, so the vowel says its name in these long vowels. A, hey, hate, hate. You hear how that long vowel is in there? E, heat, heat. That long E is in there. I, hide, hide. O, home, O, home. And U, huge, U. So 
these long vowels say the name of its letter. Okay. Some other vowels that go uh, that I include here is the diphthongs, and some of the other vowels are considered diphthongs as well. But these ones are included with the vowels. They're the oo, like in who, u, like in book. It's not book. It's b, book. That's why I put a little h at the end because there is a little bit of a u, 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 book, book. It's a little bit more front. And then ow, like in cow, and oi, like in boy. Okay, very good. So, lo mismo que hablamos nosotros, right? The long and the short vowel sounds. Now, did you listen to something she said at the end? What did she say at the end? Let me show you. Uh, let me put it here in, 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 in nuestro grupo de WhatsApp. Let me just put it here. Te lo voy a dar como recurso. Okay. Sometimes in English, you have long, long sound for the vowel, long vowel sound, and short vowel sound. Okay. Pero hay un tercer sonido for vowels. Estamos hablando solo de vowels. So you have long, short, and you have diphthongs. Diphthongs is basically dos vocales unidas. Dos sonidos de dos vocales unidas. Okay? So, uh, basically, esto que ven aquí, this here, this that you see here, eh, it viene de lo que se llama el um, API, uh, International Phonetic Alphabet. It's an alphabet in English to help us pronounce words, okay? Pero no se tienen que memorizar este, estos símbolos. What you can do is that you can start practicing with the vowel sounds. For example, this word, take, repeat after me, take. 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 Ahí hay Take. dos sonidos. Si se fijan, hay dos sonidos. Está e i. Los, estoy exagerando, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad es take, e, 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 take. Uh -huh. Porque si no le pongo ese doble sonido aquí, entonces va a ser tac, right? Or talk. Right? No, 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 no. So you're going to say take, take. Okay? Number two, repeat after me. Buy. 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 Right? Buy. Do you hear the sound? ¿Cuáles son los sonidos ahí? De esas dos vocales. I. I, uh huh. Sounds like uh, como ojo in English, right? I. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Very good. The next one. Boy. Repeat after me. Boy. 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 So, ¿cuál es el sonido que escuchan ahí? The vowels. Hoy. 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 Como decir en español ahora. Hoy. Hoy. Oi. Very good. Very good. What about the next one? Fear. Repeat. Fear. 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 What sound do you hear? What double vowel sound do you hear? Ear. 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 Es como es casi como en el sonido de oreja in English. Ear. Ear. Exactly. Very good. What about the next word? Repeat after me. Care. 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 So here you hear the sound. Care. Air. Care. Air. Casi como aire. Air. Care. Okay. Entonces, si, si ustedes ven, hay bastantes palabras que que suena mucho, bastante similar, que nosotros la usamos al día a día. Air. 
Fear suena como ear. Okay. All right, very good. So let's continue. The next one is go. 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 Oh. Go. Oh. Very good. The next one is pour. 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 Oh. And the last one is cow. Ow. Cow. 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 Okay. cow. Pueden escuchar el doble, el doble vocal? Ow. Uh -huh. Como la palabra. ¿Qué animal es este? Ow. Buck. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, es bull. Bull. <laughs> sí. <laughs> Ow, like in English, right? Ow. Okay. So let's see if we can practice a little more. So, les tenía un video, pero creo que no nos va a dar mucho tiempo para el video. But I just, uh, I'm going to give you this so that you can practice here. Okay. Well, let's do one thing. We have, um, okay, I'm five minutes. So let's do a little breakout room for five minutes. Okay. Vamos a terminar con los diphthongs, the sounds of the diphthongs. So what I want you to do is... Simplemente, este, este otro recurso es otras palabras que puedan practicar ustedes, ok, se los voy a mandar, pero para mientras, let's do this one, ok, vamos a practicar este que el que hicimos en WhatsApp, um, so that you can practice it with another person, ok, and only, only five, five minutes, and then we go, we finish. So let's go to groups, ok, and let's practice with another person. Amner, eh, si puedes ir al grupo, please. Amner, can you go to your group? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay, ¿quién va primero? So, tienen que eh, pronunciarlas todos. De arriba para abajo. Ready? Uh, Eric, you ready? Yes. Let's do it. Go. Um, take, buy, boy, fear, care, go, poor, cow. Very good. I see the pasito, right? So that so that you can pronounce the the vowels. Very good. Okay, Gladys, your turn. Okay. Um, the third one it's boy, boy, boy. Like uh, ahí es como hoy, boy. Okay. Puedes pensar, en, puedes pensar en otra palabra que suena igual. For example, toy. toy. Uh -huh, yes, very good. Y ahí vas a unir más palabras. So as you go. Okay, very good. Okay, continue. Okay. For the fear. Uh, yes. Take, bye, boy. Fear, care, go, poor, cow. Okay, despacito. Uh, number one, so, so that you can practice the sound. Repeat, Rosie. Okay. Take, take. 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 Very good. Uh, Hay otra palabra que suena igual, for example, cake. Cake it in English. Cake. Cake. Mm -hmm. 
Very good. Number, the second one, by, I, I. Quiero que hagas ese sonido, Rosy. I. Bye. Yes, that sounds good. Eh, Ernesto, ¿qué pasó? ¿Te quedaste solo? Yes, teacher. I am alone. Okay, so pronounce, pronounce it. Give it, uh, give me the pronunciation of the words that, that I send you in WhatsApp. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to look. Okay. A, take. I, buy. And, oi, as boy. Ear, fear. E, esta girl, pero no sé cómo se lee eso. No, eh, en los símbolos, no. Si, si, si escuchaste los símbolos, no, no, no se tienen que enfocar. Eso no tiene, no tiene pronunciación. Es solamente, ¿cómo te puedo decir? Es solo un sistema de símbolos para dar un sonido. Pero ah. eso no lo vamos a aprender ahorita. Eso se llama el, el, el International Phonetic Alphabet. Pero eso no, no nos vamos a enfocar ahí. Yo quiero que hagas esto, mira. Focus on the sound. For example, hey, hey, hey. Quiero que hagas eso. Ah, ok. Take, hey, mm hey. -hmm. Buy, I, I. Yes. Boy, uh, oi, oi. Mm -hmm. Ear, ear, ear. Mm -hmm. Care. Um, ahí sí tengo dudas. No sé cómo. Air, air. Es como aire. Ah, air. Air. Uh -huh. air. Sin ponerle la R al final, ¿verdad? Pero ese primer sonido de la palabra aire en inglés. Air. Air. Okay. <risa> air. Air. Uh -huh. Ok. De ahí go. O. No, menos. Poor. Uh, uh, esa tampoco tengo, también tengo dudas en eso. Como... Es que no es una O, sino que la doble O eh, es como la palabra book. U. U. Poor. Poor. Uh -huh. um, cow. Ow. Uh -huh. Ow, like a bull. In English is ow. La, like, like when something hurts you. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yes, when something. Uh, ow. Uh -huh. Very good, wow. excellent. Now, ya con estos sonidos, después vas conectando otras palabras. For example, boy. What's another word that sounds like oi? Que termina así como oi. In English. Um, quiero ver. Um, boy, quiero ver. A boy? No. A boy? A boy. Uh -huh. a boy. What about toy? Uh, Juguete, in English. Eh, toy. Ah, sí, toy, toy, toy. Uh -huh. Yes. Sí, y ahí vas conectando esos sonidos. ¿eh? Very good. Okay, let's go back to the, to the meeting. We're going to finish. Okay. Okay, all right, very good. So I hope you practice, right? Um, it's important that you, you learn. Es bien básico, ¿verdad? Esta lección, pero es bien importante. Porque, por ejemplo, ahí vas conectando palabras. When you say, uh, for example, you say, uh, toy, boy, toy. Es la misma palabra, el mismo sonido, right? Uh, for example, fear or Ear, oreja, ear, okay? Now, if you want to learn more about the pronunciation there, eh, les mandé un link in WhatsApp. You can go to that link, and then you have more words, all right? That you can practice and you can practice, all right? Very good. Eh, questions? Eh, ¿Qué tienen que hacer ahorita? Eh, tareas? Tareas es simplemente terminar la sección 5. Y el examen final. Y terminar con un 
de, de nota y 80% de, de, de terminar todo la plataforma, right? Uh, any other questions do you have? Uh, no. another, another thing that you should be doing right now is the process for the next course, okay? Did, uh, did you receive the information for the next course? Como es the details, the information? Alguno sí? Ya revisaron eso? Su, revisen su correo, por favor. Eh, su emails. So that you can see, eh, Inglés Corporativo is going to send you the information via email. Okay? Algunos ya se la mandaron. Sí, okay. ya recibí la información. Okay, so uh, very important uh, because supposedly nuestra fecha de inicio va a ser creo que el primero de julio. First of July. No, let me see. I think it's going to be the... No, creo que va a ser el 6. Okay. But 6 of June, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, ahí estaba también el PDF que les mandé. Que, le, que pusimos en el grupo ayer. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, please contact Jonathan. If uh, anything about schedules or, or documents that you need, okay? Um, and anything with the platform, questions about the platform, you can ask me, okay? All right, very good. So I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Thank good night. you.